Hello, Sagittarius. How are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. Welcome back. If you're returning to the Beehive, well, my baby bees, if you are new here, we welcome you with open arms, open hives. Honey's on the table. Come get you some. Yes, very good. We, Sagittarius, we're going to do, I'm shuffling these up for you. We're going to do a combination of the Mystical Shaman Oracle and the, uh, Oh, what is it? Starseed. The Starseed Oracle for you today. I'm going to mix these up. Your incoming energy, I'm hearing incoming, um, is kind of funny. It's a little bit funny. I'm hearing like a, like a lady. I'm hearing a lady's voice and she's saying, excuse me, sir, you can't come in here. Excuse me, sir, you can't come in here. And then I'm hearing that song from Outcast, Miss Jackson. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real, never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize a trillion times. So, excuse me, sir. <laughs> like, it's really interesting. So, you could be in a situation, Sagittarius, where somebody is in a, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson, kind of a energy. And you are kind of responding by saying, like, excuse me, sir. Like, you can't come in here. Like, I know that you're sorry and, like, go in peace. But... Like, access denied. Like, it's an access denied. It's, like, seeing, like, velvet ropes, like, VIP access. Like, I'm, I'm just getting this image of, like, a bouncer at the door being, like, I'm sorry you're not on the list. That's interesting. That's really, really interesting. Okay. Okay, let's pray. <laughs> let's pray over these cards, Saggy. Uh, Father God, thank you for being here with me and Sagittarius today. I ask that you bless these messages, that you cover these cards that we bring forward messages and guidance for Sagittarius in their highest of love, in their highest of light, alignment, assignment, activation. We praise you and we thank you in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen, Sagittarius. Amen. I like her to the amen. Like, oh man. Maybe this is happening. Somebody's coming to you, Miss Jackson style. You're like, excuse me, sir, you can't come in here. And they're like, oh, man. Like, um, somebody really thought that they were going to get, like, another opportunity, like, another shot. And now I'm hearing Eminem. Lose yourself in the moment. You only get one shot. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on with you, Sagittarius? You're not having it, though. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's almost the energy that, like, you are your own bouncer, like, at your own party. And you're like, you're not on my... What is that? What well, the music is coming through for you. That Donna song? That song by the Donnas? Who invited you? Who invited you? Who invited you? We don't care if you think our party's cool. Because we do. Oh, okay. Okay, Sag. All right. Okay, <laughs> let's see what the cards have to say to you. You guys are just singing and singing. That's funny. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What is happening to my body right now? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Heart of the sky. Heart of the sky. This moon, the imagery is so interesting. So you are getting guidance from your angels, from God. It's like God's whispering in your ear about what your next move is. You're getting secrets. Somebody is telling you secrets. If it's not your guides and your angels and God, it's like someone actually in your physical life. Remember, I'm getting this like bouncer, velvet rope kind of thing. I'm almost seeing like you almost like turning to the owner of the club and being like, they're here. And the owner's like, don't worry about it. They're never getting in here. They're never getting in this place. I'm hearing lifetime ban, lifetime ban. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. It's almost like this little moon like God source energy. It could be like a physical person in your environment, almost saying like, just relax, Sag, just like fall into my arms. Like, don't even worry about the extremes of this situation. Nothing bad's going to happen. Like we have the velvet ropes up. 
We've got the doors locked and padded. They got a lifetime ban. They're not coming in here. Like they can say that they're sorry from the parking lot. Like, don't you even worry. Come right, this almost looks weird. It's never come through to me like this. This almost is like a punch bowl, like at a party, like, like a Halloween or a holiday party. And it's like dipping in the punch bowl, dipping in the punch bowl. They're like, just relax, have a drink, enjoy yourself. Don't worry, we'll take care of it. Just relax, fall under my arms. I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna protect you. This could be like God, source, angel energy, or it could be somebody that you're actually like connected to. There is a lot of ancestral energy on this card too. So if you have any kind of like mediumship or something like that, it could be like communicating with some of like your ancestors, your parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, whatever it may be coming through, or it could actually be like your uncle or like your father. I'm hearing like grandfather that's saying like, don't you worry. Like, I'm not going to let them come here. Like, I'm not going to let them bother you. It's like, cause you're just like, I don't care if you think my party's cool. Like you're, you're busy. You're having a good time. Like you're trying to do something. And someone's almost like, Hey, can I come in? And you're like, no way. And you're like, can you make sure they don't bother me? And everyone's like, yeah, don't worry about it. They're not going to bother you. How funny. <laughs> Coyote, divine trickster. This is divine trickster energy. So divine tricksters as they do. They like to play tricks. They like to um, upset people's apple carts. Yes, they like to just stir up trouble for seemingly no reason. However, sometimes God lets some of these things slip through the cracks a little bit just to reinforce to yourself, just to remind you a little test like, oh no, you can't come in here. No, my boundaries are set just to kind of like remind you like where your boundaries at, Sag. Did you set them? How well did you set them? Are they in place? Are they solid? How do you feel? Are you really over this? Are you still being tugged at by that ego? Are you still being tugged at by that old cycle? Are you going to let it bother you? Are you going to let it bother you? This card seems like it wants to come up. Jaguar. Ooh, so it, is a it is annoying you a little bit. It is annoying you a little bit. I see this. Because I always see this as a little bit of like our, our ego or like our shadow aspect, right? Cats are part of our intuition. Um, but being like this black jaguar, I um, always take it as using your intuition and then running away with it a little bit to kind of expect the worst, right? Expect the worst. So like when somebody maybe will come to you with like, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson sort of attitude, you could kind of go like, they're just trying to get in my way. They're just trying to create trouble. They're just trying to create problems. Trickster, trickster, trickster. Um, all tricks, no treats. All tricks, no treats. But meanwhile, this is a divine trickster, which is a call to use the higher aspect of your intuition to always be mindful and find the divinity in all people, realizing that sometimes people come through with a, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson energy um, because they actually are sorry. And it doesn't mean that you have to accept those people back in your life. It doesn't mean you have to agree with those behaviors. It doesn't mean you have to participate in them. But sometimes we also play a role in other people's processes and other people's journeys. It's like um, sort of like in a 12-step program, right? When someone's trying to gain sobriety and part of what they need to do as part of their atonement, their growth, their walk, their journey is to make amends to other people that they have wronged. And part of that is for them to humble themselves, um, to acknowledge others and to be remorseful for what they did. So it is something that it's like, yes, you're in the right, but you can also be in the right and also take that too far and then end up falling into the wrong by not being mindful, compassionate, empathetic. And again, we don't have to accept people back into our lives. We don't have to participate in bad behaviors. We don't have to take on other people's baggage, their bullshit, all of that stuff. We do not have to do that. But again, it's almost like your intuition, your spirit guides, your angels, God himself is saying to you, like, just relax, Sash. Like, you got your party going on. We're here for you. We got bounces at the door. You got a punch bowl. Just like, just rest. Know you're protected. Nothing's going to happen to you. We got this. Have a good time. Relax. But at the same time, like, don't flop over into the wrong side of life where now you've had a little too much punch and now you're sending out, a, I can't believe you had the audacity to, maybe we don't do that. Maybe we don't do that. Maybe they learn their lesson and they can go in peace now. Doesn't mean they can get in the club. 
they can go in peace. Because part of forgiveness is not just for other people, but forgiveness is also for ourselves as well, right? Because it helps us release ourselves from the guilt and the shame that we carry after allowing ourselves to be treated in a certain way, allowing ourselves to stay in situations longer than we should have been when our guidance and God was telling us to leave, right? A lot of that is, is our own shame, our own guilt, our own beating ourselves up. It's like give yourself a little bit of a break. Forgiveness is also for you. <laughs> yeah. Andean cross. Card number two. Twos are about balance. The Andean cross. This is about um spiritual dimensionality, right? And then you have it followed out by Middle Earth. Middle Earth. So this is you trying to maintain, walk out, practice what you preach, your divinity, trying to climb the, the spiritual hierarchy in your walk, while also being in a very 3D experience in your hard carbon body. Like I said, sometimes it's hard to be a good person in a hard place. Yes, but it can be done, right? If we look through biblical archetypes, look at Jesus, they went through a lot of shit. There were, there were a lot of Judases, right? But in no time did they ever lower themselves, right? To a level that was beneath them, beneath their anointing, beneath their honor, their integrity, their self-worth, their self-respect. They did not have to hurt other people in order to vindicate themselves. God, our angels, they always vindicate us. We don't, we never have to take justice into our own hands. We never have to be cold to other people. I just said it in the Aquarius video. Um, we always choose to be better, not bitter about situations because that speaks more about us than it does about them. Yes? Yes. This card seems like it wants to come out. Upper world. Oh, and look what we're moving through. <laughs> I told you, spiritual hierarchy. We're doing that walk. We're doing that climb. That's part of the reason why this divine trickster is coming in for you. This person, place, or situation. Old boss, old ex, old friend, old estranged family member, whatever it is for you. Yes, part of it is... They're trying to potentially atone, acknowledge, um, find forgiveness, right? Just just make amends in some aspects. But also that part of the reason why it's coming through the cracks for you is because it's intentionally meant to trigger up a little bit of the shadow side for you to reflect on it, for you to be like, hey, maybe I shouldn't be so defensive. I have everything that I need. I've already been vindicated. I already have my party. I've already been protected. Like, I don't have to like rub it in their faces. I don't have to slam the door in their face. I just be like, thank you. I forgive you. Go in peace. See you later. Because that grows spiritual maturity in us. That grows our sense of empathy, compassion, forgiveness. And that allows us to live in a safe bubble, live in grace, live in favor, right? As we walk through these very human processes and experiences that we have. And in being able to do that successfully with grace and integrity, we then get to move up the higher echelon of spirituality, right? With our guides, with God, our assignments, our anointing, and that allows us to sit in the upper world, right? And then the way that we express ourselves with all these little pages coming out right pages pages also represent children in the traditional tarot which is telling me that um it's also about you being an example you being a positive example for other people about how you deal with tough situations and and tough difficult people as well that there are more eyes on you because again it's like this birthday party thing like star the show it's your birthday like there are eyes on you god angels guys actual people perhaps children in your environment as well that are really, whether you know it or not, looking up to you, looking to you to be an example of how to act, how to respond as opposed to react to situations. These want to come out. These want to come out. Wild woman and the sacrifice. Oh, it's hard to tell a Sagittarius to stop being a wild woman. It, it is hard, right? There is... um. There's an aspect, my moon's in Sagittarius, so I understand this. Trust me, I understand this. Um, that sometimes, especially like for a fire sign in general, the idea of not standing up for yourself or defending yourself or doing any of that, it makes you feel a little bit like you're losing your power, right? 
like like almost like you just would just lie down and take it like to just forgive them and like let them go would be just like eating crow in a sense but that's not really what it's about it's about again it's this maturity aspect of like remaining classy that you do you don't have to give up your freedom you don't have to give up your independence you don't have to do the most in order to prove to other people that like you're a badass like you are a badass because you are you know your tree bears fruit and that is what the pages the witnesses the people around you notice from you that you can still live in your authenticity right wild and free and you know um do the whole thing without kind of burning up other people around you just because you can it's kind of controlling that fire a little bit so it is sustained longer middle earth tree of life energy right it sustains life and with this sacrifice what she has in her hand right here is a butterfly right that's beautiful but it is an orange butterfly um i'm hearing tangerine so maybe you need some vitamin c maybe you need some tangerines or that could be um what is that? Oh, it's not your solar plex chakra. What's the one right below it? Your uh, your base chakra, your sacral. Your sacral chakra is orange. You hold a lot of aggression in that chakra as well as you do in your base. Orange butterflies obviously indicate transformation. Butterflies, lovely. But orange um, usually represents a transformation in your aggressive energies, in the way you handle your temperament, in the way you handle anger, in the way you handle trigger moments so almost having to by eating crow right it's almost in the sense that like you're having to sacrifice that thing inside of you this jaguar energy right that wants to sort of clap back snap back okay okay you have to sacrifice that a little bit which might feel a little bit like you're having to tame like the like the beast within the fire within but you're not what you're really doing is emotionally maturing and again um recognizing like i said that perhaps some people have all tricks and no treats but the thing about a divine trickster is that we have to recognize the divinity in everyone that we are all extensions of creation and so that means that we all have free will you know we all we all act in different ways but to lower yourself to not have compassion to not have empathy it would if anything just be knocking you down pegs in your spiritual ladder that you've already worked so hard through in order to get to this upper world right that it's like you don't want to set yourself back um i'm hearing like i'm only human i'm only human and it's like yes but also this and that are true dolphin spirit it's like you are human but you're also more than that right like god is a super and you are the natural it's together we are all supernatural we're having a an elevated experience and 44 is a number of empowerment that your personal power does not come from the ability to be more powerful than others it is the ability to stand in your light in your integrity know your worth no matter what this external world throws at us look at the bottom of the deck the giveaway the giveaway i almost see this is you like really grinning down bearing it like pushing this upper world this higher aspect of yourself sort of up to, we get that flying around my window up to god being like here take the best of me i'm doing my best here's my light here's my inner light here you can have it fine i'll let go of my ego fine i'll let go of my deeper revenge i'll let go of the pettiness here you can take it i want to be in the upper world i want to be in the upper world you can have it it's beautiful and in that you do gain your wings so it really is super gorgeous it's super good look you have the spiral you have the sweat lodge you have the gatherer yeah absolutely these are part of the echelon that we were talking about you have to go through all of the cycles this is how we grow things pop it's retrograde things pop back up again so we can review them analyze them kind of process them again again yes again from a higher elevated perspective as we move up the rungs of the ladder and it does feel like a sweat lodge when you're really like jesus i need strength right now to not like lose every last shit i have on this person right now the audacity like it really is it's like a trial by fire thing but it's part of the purification process 
So that way you can really be the best, brightest, lightest of yourself, right? And then in that, you get to gather the fruits of your labor, your fruits that grow off your tree, which is how other people judge you, which is how God judges you, which is how you are an example to others, right? How God moves in your life is by the fruits of your tree. And in doing this, though it is hard, it is growing you. And thus you have a cornucopia, right? Succotage. You have more. You have more than you need. You get to gather up all of the fruits of your labor, all of your blessings, all of your integrity, your self-worth, everything. And along with it, your self-respect, knowing that you were able to maintain it despite any tricks that came in. And because of that, now you got nothing but treats. So sad. I know that was a little, we, that was like the elevator business. Ups and downs, ups and downs. It's a little bit like a waterbed, but it was really good. This happens to all of us. So, you know, it's retrograde season. It's bound to happen. It's bound to happen, you know. Excuse me, sir. Always maintaining a level of respect, of course, as always. So, Sagittarius. I love you guys very, very much. Keep at it. You are doing a really good job. So don't, don't let them, haters gonna hate. Don't let them get you down, all right? Enjoy, it's your party. I don't cry, because it's your party. But you can if you want to. But it's your party, so enjoy yourself. You're in a really, really good season right now. It's no surprise people wanna take a little extra look at you. Yes? Yes, so. I love you guys very, very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for participating in the little beehive community. If you're interested in your October monthly, that is in the Patreon. That is linked in the description box. Um, my personals are open. My email is in the description box as well, along with all my social media links, Instagram, Twitter, and all of the decks, that big, big list of decks that I own. So you can get any of them if you want. This was a combination of the Starseed Oracle and the Mystical Shaman Oracle, both of those. So until next time, Sagittarius, I love you very much. Take care of yourself. Keep climbing that ladder. Stay blessed. And I will see you next time. Yes? Very good. Goodbye.